Hi, my name is Rick Tomolo, and uh, I just got a new YouTube station. Got one video up about antennas, the antenna that's on my roof. Very similar to this. The one on my roof was the uh, very first one I built, and I built uh, two more since then. Um, the one I got in my roof, uh, oh, by the way, um, I don't know whether this counts or not, but if you like my video, please uh, click like and subscribe if you, if, you, if you can. After all, I guess I need all the help I can get. This is the very first video. But anyway, the, the one on my roof is... Uh, um, Got a hunt. I uh, got uh, 74 channels. Um, probably about 68 of them are crystal clear. Um, I started making antennas uh, because my cable bill kept on going up and up, and I'm sure you all know all about that. So I decided to cut the cable off and just keep the internet. The internet cost me about 60 bucks. Uh, I got Sling, which is another $35, $38, so I'm still under $100. Um, and I've got just as many stations as everybody else, um, if not more. And 99% of the stations you don't watch anyway. Uh, the, the other thing that I did was I got Tableau. Tableau was a one-time cost, and that uh, helps me record all the over-the-air TV stations so that if I want to watch movies or TV shows, um, all I have to do is click record and it'll record them for me and save them for as long as I want them to be saved. So going over the air is a lot uh, less expensive and... Um, I'm not exactly especially talented, and I built this, and I'm quite sure that if uh, you wanted to, you could build the same thing. And uh, if you need help, uh, put a comment in, and I'll uh, try to help you out as much as I can. And uh, I'll even make videos to show you how I went about this. Anyway, uh, if you don't know about over the air, it's line of sight. So, trees, mountains, uh, even electrical wires in your house, um, and the weather will affect uh, the antenna. Even in bad weather, I usually get at least 50, 60 channels. So the weather doesn't affect it that much. This antenna probably is good for 60 plus miles. I wouldn't uh, doubt it if it went 100. Um, that I can't uh, say for sure, but I know that uh, 74 channels, um, it's got to go some distance. Uh, anyway, um, it was easy to build. This right here is uh, the top of Lattice. If you've ever got, uh, looked at Lattice before, uh, uh, you can buy either wooden Lattice or vinyl. This happens to be vinyl. And uh, it usually comes in four by eight sheets and you put it up uh, to, as decoration and, or whatever. But the lattice is very flexible, and so to help it uh, uh, with its rigidity, they make this. If you look in and around the lattice uh, when you go to buy it, you'll see this. It's, it's actually, it goes on the top of the lattice, and it keeps it rigid. If you notice the groove there. Um, and it, as you can see, it 
doesn't bend as uh, very good. Um, and I also cut it to put uh, these blocks in. So the antenna uh, probably cost me, uh, for the first one, $87. Uh, I might have gotten the cost down a little bit. I'm not sure what it is. I know the fence, when I bought the roll of fence, it was $18. Uh, this uh, lattice uh, cap um, runs uh, about $9 for eight feet. Uh, the nuts and bolts, probably about $20-$25. Um, I have threaded rod, 8 foot section, about 8 bucks. And uh, this edge right here, I put on just to protect uh, me from getting cut, or anybody else for that matter doesn't serve any purpose except for that. Um, I found this in Lowe's in the uh, aluminum section, aluminum um, posts, 4x4s, four 3x3s. Three it was in that section. I don't know what you call it. But this was five doc uh, bucks uh, for an 8-foot piece and I bought two of them took uh, an eight foot piece plus a little bit of another one. Um, the way I uh, bent the, uh, the fence was I used again the uh, uh, lattice cap. I put it in the edge and using vice grips I uh, bent it which made it a lot easier to do. Um, the uh, The, uh, the copper wire, uh, most people on other, other videos would uh, bend the wire around the bolts and my hands weren't good enough for that so um, I took the threaded rod, cut it into the lengths that I wanted and put a hole in the threaded log, log, rod and then all you do and as you put the wire through the hole, if I can find the hole, and as you can see, it's easily uh, threads all the way down if you want it, and then you put it in the hole of the, I don't know what you call these, but anyway, that's how I did it. Then you put the the lock washer, washer, and bolt uh, nuts on. Uh, you could use a bolt, except that uh, you'd have to bend these individually as you put a bolt in, which would cause big problems, I'm quite sure. It was hard enough bending it uh, without it in the stall. Um, this is seven inches. Seven, seven, seven. They're all sevens. This is what they call a, a, a hat, and the hats are not electrically connected. This is one side of the antenna. This is the other side. This is a uh, transformer. Uh, the TV signals are 300 ohm, and this uh, makes the 300 ohms into 75 ohms so that you can uh, plug into your TV, back to your TV. Um, the screen is actually a reflector. Uh, the TV signals hit the um, copper, and the copper collects them, puts them through the transformer, but also the uh, signals bounce off of this screen, which is why it's called a reflector, and has a second chance at uh, entering the copper wire to give you a TV picture. So, um, maybe you would like to see the, uh, the TV picture. Here it is right here. Let the TV get on for a minute. Um, you'll notice that all the pictures will be crystal clear.
Okay, now it's uh, it's cycling through and looking for all the channels. We got five channels already, eleven, and it'll keep on searching until it gets all the channels. Um, this is a good way to save money, and like I said, you know, if I can build it, you can build it because it wasn't that difficult. Took me maybe two or three days to build that, um, and I was only working a couple hours a day. Um, the hat was kind of sort of difficult for me getting the angles, but the websites that I was uh, researching, the actual antenna was easy because they gave the the dimensions. So all I had to do was bend it. Um, and like I said, this is the third one. Uh, the first one doesn't look like this, uh, but it's very similar. I actually bent the copper wire around the bolts rather than drill the hole. Um, I got 71 channels already. And we're still going. We're at least 51%. It's a clear day today, so I'll get the best channels. Um, but you get the main channels anyway. Um, and like I said, weather and obstacles are a factor too. And you have to aim this. Uh, I, I took the TV outside and connected it up and uh, uh, turn the antenna I got until I got the best signal. That's probably the best way of aligning a tenor, uh, antenna anyway. So there you have it. We're back to the original. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.